What's the crack lads? What is going on? Hope you guys are good and welcome back to another video and it is your Monday preview. So every Sunday evening we do this where we'll take a look ahead at what is coming tomorrow in the packs and we are going to be getting new Italian league selection players as you see here. They're already up on the database. Obviously the player levels need to be updated tomorrow when the maintenance is over and when it signs over that way. But we do know that we are going to be getting these guardian players, right? So you've got a couple here, center backs, DMFs, goalkeepers, Keepers. Now I'm going to be very interested lads in Chesney whether he's wearing the pajamas bottoms or not if he is wearing his pajamas pants right and he's ready for bedtime we might have to get him for the banter we might have to get him if he's wearing it in game similar to Oshiman with the Batman mask or Petr Cech with the helmet that he has on um, when he's when he's in game right so we might have to get that we'll keep an eye out for that but other than that depending if you are a newcomer these players might be okay I mean you have these three boys here Pavard is probably the pick of them with Tiwa Tiao, this guy is a really, really good player as well. Um, Tiao, is that his name? Tiao, Tiao, Tiwa. I can't pronounce it, lads. I'm, I'm stumbling, right? But we also have Legends. So every Thursday, we kind of know what Legends we're going to be getting because the, the player's cards are updated. Now, obviously, we've got Barisi here. He goes to 23 levels, but that will probably go up, I reckon. I reckon he'll have at least 28 levels because most of the boosters that they're bringing out have got 27 or levels or plus, right? So even at 23 levels here, lads, you're going to be getting a very, very good player. Now, obviously, Barisi isn't the tallest player, so you're going to want to increase his jump a little bit, but you can get this very, very nice indeed where you'll have all your defensive stats in the max out zone with defensive awareness, tackling at 94, aggression at 90, and defensive engagement at 98. That's going to leave you a little bit of room here to actually ply up the, the jump into 88, the header to 84, and then you can decide, which I would probably recommend, whether you want to have uh, Barisi as your kind of, how would I say it? Yeah, your Barisi as your kind of, if I was building him, this build here alone is going to be insane, right? And I reckon that we're still going to have a couple of more um, levels to go with this guy, right? I reckon we'll get another few points to max out header at 90, physical contact pretty much at 90 as well, depending on how we train him up. His balance, his stamina, his physical contact looks really good, and he's able to play a little bit of ball. I think this Barisi card is going to be a beast. And it's nice to get some defensive players with the onslaught of the Messi cards that we had as well. We are also going to be getting a Pez favorite. If any of you guys played the Pez series, um, they'll know that Mykon was one of the best right backs in the game, was an absolute beast. I mean, anytime I think of Mykon now, I think of Gareth Bale rinsing him in that Champions League match. Um, but he was a fantastic player when he was at the peak of his powers. Again, I reckon that he'll have more than 27 levels. I think his booster is going to, you know, drive him up as well. And these players are always going to be, you know, different in a different category because you can train them so easily. I don't know will they hit the heights of Messi and being, you know, completely game changing. Um, but I do reckon that Mykon could be a fantastic player. And we also have Candela, who is a new legend from AS Roma. He is coming into the game for the first time ever. 28 levels. I reckon he'll probably have the highest levels of him because of his base stat. And the way that even if you train this guy up, he's not a bad option. I mean, you can get 88 speed. We're going to be going for an attack and build with him here. You can get 88 speed and we're going to probably have 85 acceleration with the manager boost. We're not going to focus too much on his defense, but you can actually get some nice um, ratings here with this guy with the passing and everything. He's a fairly okay card at that. I mean, there's nothing really to shout home about, but if you had another maybe five or six levels on him with another 10 progression points, you would be able to get his acceleration nearly to the 90, depending on what booster he gets. Now, obviously, it will all depend as well um, on, you know, what you're going to be doing with these cards. But as I said, these are the Italian Guardians plus the Italina boosters, <laughs> the Italian boosters that should be. But yeah, these guys are probably going to be able to hold their own, right? Similar to last week when we had Pedri holding his own against, you know, uh, Xavi and Deco. And uh, I think that these guys will, will do it as well. Will he have 41 levels? Probably not. But even at 30 levels here, lads, I mean, you're going to be getting a defender with 16 boosted here um, or 14 boosted. You're going to have all max out uh, defensive awareness. And what they're doing a lot of the time now as well is they're letting you kind of have your defenders uh, with 75 speed and acceleration. And that kind of seems to be what the meta is at the moment, in my opinion. That's with 30 levels. I expect him to have a few more. And we also have Pavard. Now, Pavard is one of my favorite players ever in the game. 
Um, I haven't used him in a while because I've no need to use him because I've got better players. But look at how his stats shape up, man. Especially if you have him with 15 into defending and you don't have those issues with Pavard. He's actually quite tall, but you can get Pavard to 80 acceleration, 80 speed very, very easily without actually having to train too much into him. And then that would give you 10 into jump and header as well. So you could be able to get that head and stat very, very high. And that's with 31 levels, maybe you'll have only 28 levels, 29 levels. But yeah, all in all, I think it's going to be nice. Let me know what else you think of these. We will know more players, obviously, to come um, on the Thursday. We'll have more. And let me know what you think. Obviously, I'd love Chesney in the pajamas pants, lads, just to see if we could uh, if we could have that in gameplay-wise. But yeah, let me know what you guys think, and I'll be back later. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe.